Hey guys, how's it going? So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I like to build handrails. And I'm going to be showing you tricks of the trade the whole way. necessarily need to use a cardboard template. It's easy, but normally I just use my table. I would use my table to dry everything out on, and that way you can clamp straight into the lines. But since I got all these holes here, or these slots, um, there's a good chance that a lot of pieces are gonna fall right into these spots, so I can't get them clamped just right. That's why I use a cardboard template at home, but at work, I have a solid flat table, and that's what I do with everything is draw it out on my table. So I like to go ahead and make a cut list of everything that I need to cut and then next to it I'll draw basically what it's going to look like so if it's got two angles on these sides uh, straight and straight, straight with an angle uh, angled on the same directions uh, things like that and mark them off as I go. Once I've cut my first piece and I test fit it I'll take this one and write template on it. I'll push the base one up to the back side of this, put my template up to the back side of that, and just push it forward until they're perfectly straight. Once they're perfectly straight, I vice grip them, slide them forward, get it lined up with that blade. You're off. and fill rod like this as a shim, a good tip is to fold it in half like this because if you don't, once you put your part on there, it's just going to roll around on you. So this is it all finished up. I'll go around and show you all the welds. So I oscillated all the sides that are 
not going to be ground down and are going to show. That way they look nice, you know. Even though they're getting powder coated, you'll st still be able to see all the ripples. There's the rest of the railing. Uh, these, this is all modular, so all these are the same length, same size, and then it's just gonna be bolted onto the next one. So each one has one single leg. Here's the other stair pieces. There's another one over there. And I did the same thing on these. Oscillated all the spots that are gonna show. See, these ones are already ground down. So the way that I'm mounting these is I put a hole through the back side and just a regular bolt. I'm gonna chop the head off right here. I can zoom in. There. Anyways, so that way I'll weld this and grind this flush and then that's all that's gonna be sticking through so it'll be nice and clean. Well guys, I hope you learned something from this video. Hopefully you can use it later on. Check out my other videos for more fabrication tips and welding tricks. Subscribe if you're not and hit that little bell at the bottom. That way you get notified every time I upload a video. I'm going to be putting out more videos like this every Friday. Let me know in the comments below what other videos you'd like to see. Follow me on Instagram at 5th Street Fab. Alright everybody, you have a good night.